Hello gorgeous Scorpio and welcome to your monthly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your first card for the month ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout this reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. So let's take a look at this card here. You are under no obligation to be the same person you were a year, a month, or even 15 minutes ago. You have the right to grow. I love that message, Scorpio. Let's take a look at the musing. Something to remember when you're feeling stagnant. Stay curious. Keep growing and evolving. It's your right to do so. And the affirmation, if this card resonates for you, is I release old habits that are limiting my potential. This month is about you expanding in in new ways and opening up new horizons for you. And so I feel that this is a beautiful message for you, Scorpio. It is your right to not be stagnant. It's your right to change. It's your right to make different choices and decisions. You don't have to be stuck or stagnant if you don't want to be. You have the right to grow. So a beautiful, important message there for you. Let's take a look at this card here for Scorpio. This one here. A beautiful image. And it says, with patience and hope, Silver Shield blesses the soul with the wisdom of winter. Stillness and rest for sacred inner reorganization and success. Okay, so this is an interesting one. So we have the Silver Shield of Protection. So you putting up boundaries and protecting yourself spiritually, but not only spiritually, and maybe mentally or emotionally and physically is really important this month. Being patient with yourself and being patient with others and maintaining hope no matter what the situation. So there is a blessing here for you, Scorpio, the wisdom of winter. So there's going to be a blessing that comes through in winter. And I'm seeing a stillness and rest for reorganization. So there's going to be a stillness in your life. And I feel this stillness is coming in mentally, a stillness to your mental state and rest. If you're doing too much, if you're giving too much energy, it's time to take a rest. It's time to reorganize things so then you can be successful. If something isn't working and you will know if spirit is talking to you about this, if something is not working, you need to reorganize things so then you can um, open up those new horizons and allow success to come into your life, which is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, for the month ahead. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this deck of cards. This one here is yours. Let's take a look. The water spirit manifesting dreams. Beautiful energy. You are working miracles in your life right now, Scorpio. You really are. You are manifesting your dreams. There is an intention. There is an awakening to what you truly want. That is coming in for you this month. You will be able to manifest your dreams. You will be able to bring this into your reality very, very strongly, very powerfully. Continue to believe in it. And I do get a sense here it's important to put up this shield of protection in some way to help manifest this dream and to help to bring through the success that you're after. Guidance for Scorpio. This one here is yours, the flamingo, the beautiful flamingo, act with grace. You will be able to do that this month. I'm seeing that water is just going to flow off your back. I feel that any emotional hits that people try and 
uh, get from you. I feel it's just going to be water off a duck's back here. I feel that you're not going to buy into anything that is not wholesome or healthy for you. I'm seeing that you're going to be able to go with the flow and act with grace and not be pulled into any drama. Beautiful energy. Guidance for Scorpio. The death energy. This is your card, Scorpio. You may also be dealing with another Scorpio in your life. The death card means there's a time of transition that you're going through this month. For some, it's going to be a larger thing, a larger life thing. And for others, it's going to be a smaller thing, but still very significant. There is an energy of letting go of the past, acting with grace through whatever this circumstance of change is for you. You might have to let something go before you're able to manifest your dreams. Let's take a look at your next card. The Page of Wands. This is a child, a youth or someone younger than you that's around you that's significant in some way in your life. The Page of Wands indicates news or a message about about something that is in that you're passionate about or something that you're wanting to get done the six of swords moving in the right direction mentally and i was picking that up with this very first card i do sense that there is a calmness that's going to come into you your mind mentally and also situationally if you're wanting to move away from something that no longer serves you put an end to this it's time to put an end to it and it's time to, for you to move on and to steer this boat in the direction that you want to move toward. You're moving toward. I love this symbolism actually because you can see here that you are moving toward manifesting your dreams. With those cards right next to each other, you can see that. That's just beautiful. And we have the four of pentacles. Holding on to what you have, perhaps a little bit too tightly, especially because we have the death card here. Make sure that you are going with the flow and you're acting with grace and you're in this beautiful flamingo energy and you don't hold on too tightly to anything or anyone. If it is really meant for you, then it will stay or it will come back to you. So I feel that this is a solid foundation all in all. Uh, that you're building for yourself. It's just ease up a little bit on the control, ease up a little bit on your, um, like a restrictive energy here that I'm seeing. Allow your, allow yourself to uh, be in the flow of things. Let's take a look at this card. We have strength. This is Leo's card. So you may have a Leo that's around you. Or significant in a strong way in your life. Strength means that you're going to have the strength and the fortitude, the determination and the perseverance to move forward this month in whatever it is that you want to, that you want to do, whatever it is that you're involved in. You're also looking at the shadow side. The lion represents the shadow side. So you're also looking at your shadow side, looking at another shadow side perhaps, and you're working with that, you're taming that, you're understanding it, you're acknowledging it. You're not holding on to what no longer serves you. The The big message here for you is that it's so important you let the energies and situations, people, places, circumstances flow through your life and you're not grasping onto them too tightly. Because if you do, you're not going to be able to manifest the dreams that you truly want. And this is what spirit is wanting for you to bring through this manifestation of your dreams, of your desires. You will be able to work this miracle in your life, Scorpio, but you're going to have to change some things in a drastic way. Or you may be in a situation where there's um, a big transformation happening anyway that's outside of your control. But carry on because you're going to be able to move toward this dream. You're going to have the strength, the fortitude, the determination to move forward in the way you want. Just remember that there is a um, protection that needs to happen here. You might have to put up some boundaries with others. The silver shield energy. 
I'm also being drawn to the energy of patience here once again. So I just want to mention to you, Scorpio, that sometimes this this death energy can be something difficult and you're wanting to get through it quickly. You're wanting to just move on. But it's important you don't rush decisions or choices or move on too fast uh, before you're ready. OK, so just keep that in mind. You have some beautiful energy supporting you this month, Scorpio, you really do. You may actually receive some kind of message here, like I said, about a passion or about something uh, that you're wanting to pursue. And I do get a strong sense that this is a fresh start, a newness, a breath of fresh air coming into your life. So expect that newness and, and breath of fresh air coming in. It's going to wipe away the sadness that's going to wipe away the, the old energy. It's going to wipe away cobwebs if you have been stagnant in an area of your life. Because going back to this very first card, taking this to heart is really important. You are under no obligation to be the same person that you have been. It's all right to transform. It's all right to change. Even if others around you are not on the same page as you, you have to follow your heart. And if that's what you feel is right for you, then you continue on. You know that something is coming to a completion. You know that something is coming to an end which is the death energy. You know it, you can feel it, and you have the fortitude and the strength and the protection and the grace to move forward in the way that you feel is right for you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, click the like button and subscribe if you would like to. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. I hope you have a fantastic month ahead, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.